Hey, I got to tell you about an appointment when I went on last week with my boy Michael. Michael's one of the guys that uh, sales people that I train on an ongoing basis. We went on an appointment last week, and I'm telling you, the house that we went to ranks in the all-time top five of the nastiest, filthiest, stinkingest houses I've ever been to. I wouldn't even sit down. We walked in there. The smoke hit us. The house was torn up. Plaster falling out of the kitchen. I mean, it, it, oh, man, it was nasty. So we started talking to the guy and his wife a little bit, his, his son, as they're sitting there filling the house full of cigarettes. And I'm thinking, all right, I got to throw my clothes away when I leave here. But anyhow, we went through the deal. Walked through the house, looked at what they needed to have done. But we found out that the house, which we called the, the whole situation there, the big nasty. We found out that they, the house was worth about one hundred and ten dollars to $120,000. But the man didn't know one dime on the house. Didn't know. So listen to this. He had equity. We looked at the project. The project was about a $60,000 project. So we said... Big Nasty, we didn't call him Big Nasty. Mr. So-and-so, we're going to work this deal backwards. Again, I didn't tell him that, but I told Mike, we're going to work this one back. We're going to find out how much money we can get him, and then we'll the project will be based on how much we get him. But here's the thing. Salespeople, you never, never, never know. I get fooled. I wouldn't have thought this guy had a dime. His house didn't show it. His car falling apart. House definitely was falling apart. Uh, I mean, it was it ranked in the top five of the big nasties I've ever been into. But the man had the ability to get sixty or seventy thousand dollars. And let me tell you something: I'll do a project. I don't care how nasty it is. That's what we do. We sell work. We hire people to do the work. So be careful. Everybody you go in is a potential sale. Don't make a decision. Don't prejudge. Uh, because if we'd have prejudged, we wouldn't even have stopped at the front door. So get out there and sell something today. If you have to sell a big nasty, sell a big nasty. Talk to you later.